Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to talk about Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. I will show you how the platform works, how you can trade there and show you a bit around what you can actually do there. You can also earn money with savings and some other stuff. And so that should give you a quick overview about the platform and you will be able to handle most of the things yourself there. So first of all, Binance, as I already said, is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Um, there are over 200 cryptocurrencies that are currently traded on Binance. You can also deposit regular currencies like euros or British pound or Australian dollar on the cryptocurrency exchange. And of course, you have a good support. The support is also available in several languages. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up. And with that link, you can actually save 10% on fees. When you open an account, all you have to do is basically provide your email address and a password, and then you can sign up. However, in order to trade on Binance, you need to verify your identity. That was different in the past. There, there you were able to trade without verifying your identity. However, now every new user needs to verify their identity. And once you have that account, um, all you need to do is you go here and then click on dashboard. And as you can see, there's a point here where it says identity verification. I'm already verified. However, if you are not verified, there would be a link here that you can click. And when you click on that link, you need to upload a picture of your passport or your ID card and answer a few questions about your address. And that's basically it. Usually you get verified in a few seconds. However, if the picture quality, for example, is not good, it can take um, a bit longer because then they have to check manually. That's basically it. And once you are verified, you can start trading on Binance. However, in order to start trading, you need to deposit some money there. And the best place to do that is in your wallet. And as you can see here already, there are several wallets on Binance. And your regular wallet or the most used one is a spot and fiat wallet. That's basically the wallet where your regular currency goes. So if you deposit euros that goes into that wallet or if you deposit cryptocurrencies, you will also put that into your spot wallet. Spot basically means it's just a regular currency, cryptocurrency that you own. And when you buy something, it really goes into your spot wallet. And fiat is like a currency, like a real world currency, like euros or British pound. And if you want to deposit something, you just go to your spot wallet and then you Either choose a cryptocurrency that you want to deposit or a regular currency. So let's deposit some euros here. Just click on deposit. And then you can select um, deposit something via credit card. So it would be a Visa or MasterCard. And they charge a 1.8% fee. In the past, it was also possible to deposit something via a bank transfer. However, um, they took it off because they had some issues with their providers. So they're probably looking for a new company to work with. However, until then you can only use um, your credit card. There's also you know, an option to use peer-to-peer -peer bank transfer, but I really can't recommend that. There's zero fee on it. However, um, if you buy something, it's basically you are buying not from the exchange, but from someone else and the prices are actually very high. So you are paying actually more for certain cryptocurrencies and it's you are regularly paying more than five or 10% than you would pay on Binance for a certain cryptocurrency. So I would really not recommend that. I would always go with the option to deposit something via your credit card and live with the 1.8% fee. And of course, you can also withdraw money that way. Instead of depositing, you can just click on withdraw here and then you can withdraw um, whatever you like. Let's say Bitcoin or 
I mean, you can deposit Bitcoin here as well or withdraw it or euros. And when it comes to euros, you can also withdraw them to your credit card. So there's no way to withdraw regular currencies to a bank account at the moment. However, you can withdraw to your credit card. And if you need a workaround, you can sign up for a different platform, let's say Coinbase, and send your cryptocurrencies there and withdraw it there and to your bank account. So that actually works. So that's just a quick workaround. So once you deposited something, you can actually start trading. And the easiest way to do that, if you go to trade here and then you choose the convert option and convert basically means you are converting one currency into another one. So you could, for example, convert Euro to Bitcoin or the other way around, or you could convert Bitcoin to Ethereum, for example. Just choose how much you want to convert. Let's say half a Bitcoin. Then you can click preview conversion and that would show you how much you would get. Yeah, however, if you don't want to convert it, just click back. And that's basically it. So that's the easiest way to buy a cryptocurrency on Binance. However, um, not every cryptocurrency is on that list here. Um, if you want to trade a smaller one or you want to do a special order, like a limit order, um, or you want more options for trading, then you would go to the advanced platform. Just click on advance and here you can see basically everything in one picture. You have the chart here, the price chart. Currently one candle here is one hour. You can change that to four hours or 15 minutes and so on. And then you have the order book here with all the sell orders in red and all the buy orders in green. And here you can actually place your order. You can do a buy or sell order and then you can do a market or limit order. A market order, order is fairly straightforward. You just say how much you want to buy and then click buy and it immediately um, fills the order. A limit order is a bit more complicated. But and before we talk about that, we are here currently with the trading pair BTC against USDT. However, if you want to trade euros or something else, um, you just need to search here or like find it in the list. Let's say euros against BTC would be here. Okay. And as I said, market order. You just um, say how much you want to buy, how much you want to invest, like all your euros, and then you can do the order. Or you do a limit order, there you can say, okay, you want to invest all your money if the price of Bitcoin drops to 35,000 um, euros. That would be usually a typical use case for a limit order. And then it would be written in the order book and would stay there until the price reaches that level. And if it never reaches that level, the order would stay there forever. However, you can cancel the order anytime. I will show you that with a sell order. So sell order is basically the same. You can do a market order. You can say, okay, I want to sell all my Bitcoin. Click on sell and it immediately sells all your Bitcoins for euros here. Um, or you do a limit order and say, okay, I want to sell half of my Bitcoins if the price goes to 60,000 euros and then you click sell BTC and then you can save the orders in the order book and it stays here until the price of 60,000 euros is reached. However, you can just cancel it anytime. And that's basically it, how you do a buy or sell order and the difference between market and limit order. So if you are new, you're basically, the best way for you to do it is to do a market order. And if you're trading bigger amounts, let's say more than 10,000 or 20,000 euros, it's probably better to do a limit order. It also depends on the cryptocurrency. Here, it doesn't really matter for Bitcoin against Euro or USDT. However, if you trade smaller, cryptocurrencies, it's better to do a limit order. And if you buy something, if you buy a Bitcoin here, um, then the amount of Bitcoin you are buying would be 
put into your spot wallet so you can find it then until under your spot wallet so that's basically how you buy and sell cryptocurrencies on binance and then there's more that you can do there you can do futures trading or derivatives trading so that basically means you can trade with leverage however that's more for advanced users and you are also paying let's say you open a trade here you are paying funding there usually and that will be charged every eight hours so you really have to know what you are doing there i did a separate video about futures trading so if you are interested in that and trading futures you can do or you can learn that in the other video and then there's finance here and finance is basically the option for you to earn money with your cryptocurrencies and without trading so binance earn is actually quite good if you have a certain cryptocurrency you can invest that currency here and then you can it really depends on the cryptocurrency but sometimes you can do flexible savings or fixed savings um, for a certain amount of days and just invest your cryptocurrencies there. So let's say you have BNB, you could, for example, um, stake them for 30 days here and you would get 5.86% um, interest, but that's annually. So you would only get like the certain percentage of that. Um, and you can also do the BNB vault here, there you would get 7% or 7.15% annually and that's a flexible duration so you would be able to withdraw your crypto or your BNB in that case um, anytime you want and you would still get that APY that you would have gotten until that point. So let's say you do it for half a year and you would get around 3.6% um, on your total BNB invested. So that's the difference. And for fixed durations, and you can withdraw it during that period. And here you can check um, if your coin is in the Binance Earn program. So let's say you can use Compound, for example, and then you can see, okay, there's an option to invest it for 1% and it's a flexible duration. So you would be able to withdraw it anytime. So that's basically what Binance Earn is doing. Um, it's relatively risk-free. The only risk is that you need to leave it on the cryptocurrency exchange and how they make money with it is sometimes staking. So they stake the coins for you and sometimes is they lend it out to margin traders. However, um, it's lended out to margin traders on Binance itself. So they also make sure um, that they don't lose your money. And if the amount of money of the margin traders getting too low, they liquidate them. And so they really make sure that you can't lose your money and that you invest it here. So as I said, the only risk is basically to leave it on the platform. And then there's something else. Binance, Binance Pool basically means that you can um, mine cryptocurrencies. However, you need a miner or depends on the cryptocurrency. Then you can use the Binance Visa card. So that basically means um, you can order the Visa card and then you can spend your cryptocurrencies you have on Binance and with that card and with that debit card. So it's actually quite cool. And then there's something called liquid swaps. And I don't know if you have heard of Uniswap, but that's basically the Binance version of Uniswap. So there are trading pairs or pools, how it's called. And there you can provide liquidity and earn interest. Um, so let's say you have TRX and BNB, you can provide liquidity there and earn an annual interest of 10.65%. However, um, you shouldn't look here for the highest yield. You should look for the cryptocurrencies you really have and you want to hold. So it doesn't make sense to have a high yield if the cryptocurrency you are holding drops in value. So um, all the safe pools um, have like a lower yield. So for example, BTC and WBTC, 
WBTC is basically just Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. And so both pairs would basically have the same value and that's relatively risk-free. So it's a lower risk than holding a smaller cryptocurrency, for example, than SXP or Cake. And therefore you get a lower yield. However, the risk of losing value um, with BTC is lower than with um, smaller coins like Cake. So that's liquid swaps. And that's basically all you have to know at the beginning, how to buy cryptocurrencies on Binance, how to sell them and how you can invest them on Binance. Um, as I said, Binance is relatively risk-free. There was one hack in the past. However, none of the users lost money, so they covered it. And you also have to know that Binance keeps 98% of the cryptocurrencies they have in cold wallets, so it's not connected to the internet. So it's the safest way for them to protect them from attacks. Besides um, that, a lot of people are using Binance, so you have a really high liquidity, um, which makes sense if you want to buy a bigger sum of a certain coin or you want to sell something and you have less slippage. If you have any questions about Binance, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't have a Binance account yet, feel free to use that link to sign up and save 10% on trading fees. Thanks for watching.